Uh, this is a review of one, my Westminster Reference Bible. Um, this is actually the hard hardcover. It's actually quite nice. I was looking at the calfskin ones, but I mean, for three quarters of the price, I decided on getting the hardcover. It's exactly the same, except just for the covering. I mean, it's exactly the same printers, exactly the same paper, everything is exactly the same. Like I said, it, it, it's just a hardcover. You don't have the gilding. You do have two ribbons. It does come with two black ribbons, which is fine. It does actually have raised hubs on this one. I know the calf skins don't have hu um, raised rub um, hubs. They just have the have the marking. So this is actually quite nice. It does have like a pattern too on the on the hardcover. It's like a it's like a, a vinyl covering on the hardcover. So now. These are actually made quite well, the hardcovers. They're actually not completely paste. It's a paste down, but not in here. As you can see, it's actually sewn into the cardboard. So the cardboard is actually part of the sewing as well. So there's no way that this is going to break here. Like the paper, sometimes you'll find with the paste downs, they'll actually tear along here. This won't tear. And it's exactly the same on the back. It is exactly the same. So it's not going to fail there, that's for sure. Because it is actually sewn to the cover. And this cardboard, this, this paper does not go over. So there's, there was no way that that's going to fail in there. There's no gold gilding on this, it's just all white. You know. It is, you do have your, your tail bands and your headbands on this. They are quite nice, exactly the same as the calfskin. You do have Holy Bible written on the front of this one where the calfskin doesn't. It has exactly the same features. You have your 200,000 references and all the other stuff inside. Your print is a nine. I think they say it's a nine point, nine point um, two or nine point five or something. They call that print. The size of the text. You don't get a clamshell box with this, but you know, a box is a box. Most people throw them away anyway. That is your ISBN number here for this one for this particular one. These ones do come with a print of. Um, they have some sort of a print on them. They're blue with a print of, I think it's the the Westminster Westminster building or something. So yeah. So you open this up, you get exactly the same as what you get in the calfskin. No difference. Same quality paper. Same same sum at the beginning. You also get your presentation page which is quite nice it's basic nothing flash and then you've got these two little pages at the front which will crinkle so I normally put this sort of stuff there because I always use them through the Bible anyway and that actually helps them from not getting crinkled now this is pretty much straight out of the box I did work it in like you know and that thing lies straight flat I've done a nice job with these Bibles. Now, and here we go. It is printed and bound in the Netherlands by Youngblood. And that's the date that it was done. And these are also the, uh, the description of all the other ones. Other cover stoles you can get. The black vinyl cover, which is this one, the colour hard cover, which I was telling you about, and the other two calfskin ones. Now here you have a contents page. You have all the normal stuff at the front, translators, 
to the readers. It's actually quite a nice size print too, so you've got some room here too if you want to make some notes, which is quite good. Okay, you have all the normal helps at the front. the these and the thous. This is actually a good book if you've got somebody who's just wanting to learn. Who just wants to read the King James but hasn't picked the King James Bible up before. This would be a great one for them to pick up. And I'll show you why in a minute. You actually have the books, the index, and then we start in Genesis. This is this this Bible is line matched as you can see. There is a little bit of ghosting in it, but it's not too bad. It doesn't interfere when you're reading it. And you do have your cross references on the side. You have your, your subheadings up the top there, which are quite good. Now, like I said, this paint this is it is a, it is Smith's own. So she is not going to fall apart on you. And it is quite a nice, quite a nice soft paper. Now I've got some things in here I wanted to show you. It is a black leather. So you don't get your red. Now if you're just learning or you're just, you know, new to the King James, this is where this this Bible comes in handy. I'll show you this one to use this one. You've got here, as in your verse, you've got here conversation. Conversation in Christ. Now see how you've got that little star there? So you go over to the side here, you look for the little star. It says conversation. It says behaviour. So it's like, so falsely accused your good conversation in Christ. Which which means behaviour. So, your good behaviour in Christ. It's a lot easier to understand if you're new to the King James that way. And you also have your little cross references in here. So you've got the C. So there's your C. And then you've got B here. And there's your there's a reference there is B. They're actually pretty much quite opposite each other. So you don't have to go looking up and down, up and down on the page to go find them. So you've got an M here. Your M should be just out there. It is there. See? An, an L. And there's an L there. So it's really quite simple. There's your stars. Any time you see a star, it'll be over here. And there it is there. And it'll give you an alternative for it. I do find it's quite a nice Bible, it's quite a nice reading Bible. It's also too good because it's a hardback, it, it's not going to flop around in your hand. So when you pick it up, you can read it. It's not going to flop around everywhere, it's just nice and solid there so you can read it on your lounge chair or, or you know, even if you're in a bus or something, you can read it and you, you don't have to worry about it getting scratched up or, or damaged or anything. You know, with a car, sometimes with a calf skin or a, you know, goat skin, you're a little bit worried about them and you don't, you know, this one doesn't matter. Okay, you have your weights and measures here at the end. And you have quite a fair bit of paper to um to put notes in too. As like I show you, everyone every starts on a new page. Every book starts on a new page, so you have a little bit sometimes at the end before you start again. They all do it. So you still have some room here at the end for the notes. Now you also have, I'll go back a bit, you also have a good size reading plan here, daily reading plan. If you don't already have one, you could actually use this one in this book. And you also have here a list of proper names with their pronunciation. So it's not self, you don't have self pronunciation in the text itself. But if sometimes that you get a, you know, like a word that you're not sure of and it's a name of something or a name of a place, you will find it in the back here. 
to help you pronounce it out properly, which is a good idea if you don't if you're not keen on the self pronunciation in your text, you still have it in this Bible. And we also have quite a few pages here of blank pages, so you can write your notes. It's the same paper that you would use. That's the same paper in the that the Bible is actually printed on. So you've got quite a bit there. Then, toward, then at the end, you actually here have your maps. This is all cardstock here. So the cardstock too, sometimes in these Bibles, it actually gives you extra strength with the Bible at the back to have the cardstock to stop your, stop your Bible from pulling apart. Like you have your cardstock at the front, you have your cardstock at the back. And sometimes they will use it on the, the cardstock for the, for the maps. And that, it, it is there for a design to actually help your Bible not to fall apart. So same, same, they're not bad maps, quite colourful. Same maps that you'll find in the calf scheme one, no difference. And there you go. It's exactly the same size as, as the other as your calf scheme. It is eight and a half by six and a half and one point three inches thick. So I do like I do like how it's got that pattern on it. It's quite nice. That's actually not just stamped on. It's stamped on, but it's actually embedded a little. It is. And same here. It's actually embedded a little. So you, like I said, you've got the Holy, Holy Bible, Westminster Reference Bible, and it is from TBS. And also, being a hardback, it's a lot easier to store. And I'm quite happy with my decision on getting a hardback. And that's my review. You do get this piece of paper that's that comes with it. It just explains everything. It's what will be on the back of a box if you if they came in a box, which this doesn't. So, and it explains everything that it, that the Bible has that they've been producing this Bible since nineteen since twenty twelve. And. That's the end of my review and thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye for now.